With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A hundred watt bulb and a uh, two sixty watt bulbs are uh, connected to a two fifty volt uh, source, as shown in the figure. W one, W two, and W three are output powers of the bulbs. Uh, B one, B two, and B three. Then you have to derive the relation between W one, W two, and W three. So you see, you have two bulbs, B one and B two, and B three. B one and B two are connected in series. So when they are connected in series with this battery voltage, you can now imagine that the current which is flowing from here it gets split into two like this. Right. So if this I is the main current here, you will get I one, and here you will get I two. But the voltage across both of it will remain same. So we'll find the resistance first. What is the resistance offered by each one? We will find it out first. So the resistance of the in general, we know that power is equal to V square by R. So R will be equal to V square by P. So using this equation. For both hundred watt and a sixty watt, we will find the resistance. So for hundred watt bulb first. So for hundred watt bulb, R will be equal to V. V is same. It is two fifty square divided by power is hundred. So this will be. Uh, we shall call this as equation one. Okay. Similarly. For 60 watt bulb, for each 60 watt bulb, there are two 60 watt bulb. Each 60 watt bulb will be having a resistance R is equal to 250 square by 60. So this we call it as equation two. Now to find the output power, and this if I call this as R1, this as R2, R2 and R3, it will be same as R3 also. Now we will find out the output power. These are the resistances of that. To find output power, we shall write output power W one for the first bulb as I square into R. And here R is in place of R. We'll write it as R one. Now I is what? I is V by R. See, V is equal to I R. So I will be equal to V by R. It is voltage by total resistance. So voltage is V divided by resistance. Resistance is how much? See here for bulb B1, you have another bulb connected in series here, and both the resistances acts together. So you can see the total resistance for this bulb B1 when you are taking it should be R1 plus R2. Okay, whole square. Into R one. Now this is the output power given with bulb B one. Similarly, we will write it for B two output bulb powers B two and B three. So when you write it for that, uh, W two will be equal to same way when you are writing it will be V square plus for that also both the resistance gets added because it is a total resistance into R two. Same way when you are writing for W three, W three does not has the effect of those two. See, it is single bulb connected in one particular branch. So in this, the resistance will be only because of this B three. So the total work done will be equal to V square divided by you have only one, right? So it is R three square into R three. So you can write this as V square by R three. So these are two, three Ws you have got. Now solving these W values, you will get W one by W two ratio. You can write uh, if I call this as uh, three, four, and five. From equation three and four, you can write W one by W two. Right, three and four. We will divide one by the other. So W one by W two. Will be equal to. You can see to the RHS part. In RHS part, V square R one plus R two whole square. Everything gets cancelled. It will be R one by R two. Similarly, when you substitute these values in uh, R one and R two in equations uh, one and two, see here, 
in equation 1 and 2 we will substitute the values of r1 and r2 so that you will get it as uh, w1 by w2 is equal to 15 by 25. So this you call it as equation 6. Now from equation C5 and 6 you can again write the values of W2 and W3 and from that from 4 and 5 you can write it for W2 by W3 ratio which will be equal to 15 by 25. And also W2 by W3 will be equal to R2 R3 divided by R1 plus R2 whole square. You are dividing these two 4 and 5. So on substituting all these values R1, R2, R3 from equation 1 and 2 and solving finally you will get the equation as W2 by W3 is equal to 25 by 64 and with all these by comparing all the three results you can write it as w1 as to w2 is to w3 is equal to 15 is to 25 is to 64. So when you see to these values you can identify which is lesser which is greater right. So you can see that uh, w1 will be less than w2 will be less than w3. So this is the relation you have and see to the choices you have W1 less than W2 less than W3 option D is the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.